Well, I think um, as an Australian, it's particularly important to uh, realise our place in the Asia-Pacific region and foster stronger relationships with our neighbours. And Indonesia, I think, is an important neighbour of ours that, you know, we've been um, undertaking a lot of cultural understanding, a lot of exchange programs. We get a lot of Indonesian students in Australia. Um, so it's an important neighbour that deserves, you know, to be invested in far more. And I think the relationship um, could stand to be refreshed, um, re-energised. And I think that this dialogue is an important undertaking in that. Well, you know, one of the um, the outcomes I would hope that this you know, dialogue would produce is far more communication between um, young people and youth groups within civil society in Australia and Indonesia. One of the other participants um, at this dialogue is also very much involved in civil society as I am in Australia and we've um, decided to continue on the dialogue and the discussions around how we can um, link up youth groups in Indonesia and Australia through ICTs and through you know a simple Skype call for instance which I think is the first step really so you know in tapping into new technologies and, and social media I think that young people from both countries can certainly you know um, start communicating with each other on a more meaningful level well there are successful and existing um, you know civil society organisations and initiatives that have been engaging with young people and young um, climate change activists that exist within Oxfam International, that exist within the UN system as well. And I know that um, AusAid does fund, um, not quite a lot, but um, does fund uh, programs to do with climate change. And, and I think it's also about um, what, as Australians, we can do to promote um, technologies and technology transfer, how we can better um, improve the you know, carbon market here. In our last session we discussed the issue of the carbon market and how um, you know, there's a potential there for growth, but it's just about investment um, and looking into that. But I would say, you know, really just get your voices heard because quite often we don't hear from those who will be directly affected um, immediately by climate change and we know that that will um, inevitably uh, be, you know, young Indonesians will inevitably bear the brunt of, you know, the consequences of climate change so their voices need to be heard and, you know, I'd like to see far more of those voices in these dialogue sessions, for instance.